YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to Work at a Change. Today we're going to talk about OnlyFans. Let's get right into the video. Like, I feel a little bit dead inside. I feel... I have so much I need to say. Like, I feel like this video won't be enough. I hope you don't delete this video because I think it's so important to let people know what they're getting in themselves into. I've been doing OF for about a year, webcamming for a year and a half. And ever since I started feeling burnt out, I've never really stopped feeling burnt out. Like, yeah, you make quick money, but it comes with a price. Let me say this right quickly. First of all, this video is from an individual who had made an article talking about how she know she sees men in a different light since she started OnlyFans. She actually deleted her OnlyFans and now she's doing Playboy stuff. And now we are seeing somebody respond to that. The video has now been deleted, so all we have is a stitch. And like you said, you have had a collective of bad experiences with men in your personal dating life. And I've had horrific experiences with men in my dating life. And it is impossible to mend that relationship when you're doing this job because you are seeing men or these men for who they really are. Like they're living double lives and doing everything in their power to make sure that their wives, their girlfriends don't find out that they're paying a girl online. And not just messaging a girl online, a lot of them tell me they're seeing escorts, they're going to massage parlors, and they're doing everything in their power to make sure that their wives and their girlfriends have no idea. I find it funny that sometimes these people will go off and be like, oh, these men are terrible. These men do these crazy things. But at the same time, you're the one who are making money off them. How are you helping the situation? You're quick to say that men are gross and men are this and men are that. And they could be disgusting. And I, 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 I foretold of this, that people who watch OnlyFans are going to be more than likely sex addicts and porn addicts. So if you're expecting to get these great quality men that want to watch you, these high value men or whatever... You expect them to watch you and be like, oh, yeah, every one of them is making hundreds of thousands of dollars and they want me because my body and my personality. Nope. You're just an object to them at the end of the day. And that's why these people find out when they get in those DMs that these people don't see you as human. Right. But y'all are quick to say, oh, I can't believe they're doing this to their wives and all this stuff. You are still contributing to it. You are part of the problem. You're not part of the solution. There's no way you could complain about that and women, men not being good and all this. And you're also contributing to the problem. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So it's like, how do you date? And I have my friends in my in my life ask me, like, don't you miss, like, dating and, like, having sex with men? Like, no. Because, like, for me, I need to feel safe with a man to, like, have sex with him and to date them, obviously. Um, I just can't see myself feeling like that ever. After... Men will feel the same about you. Let's be honest with ourselves. You think a man is ever going to feel safe dating an OnlyFans model, a sex worker, somebody who puts their body on camera f just for money? And yeah, and I say just for money because people have put in such a big value on money that they'll do anything for it. She's going to say something interesting later that I'm really going to get into and dig into a little bit deeper. But I want to say this. It's also going to be hard to date you safely. You have literally exposed your body to thousands and thousands of people more than likely. So who, who's supposed to be feel safe with you? There's going to be men that are just going to walk up and be like, oh, man, yeah, I saw your wife booty crack the other day. It's just like, how do you feel safe as a man and insecure within your relationship when you have your woman on there showing all parts of her body that's supposed to be only meant for you? And, of course, she's not going to quit because it empowers her, right? Right. Seeing the messages that I have seen, and it really ruins your relationship with men, even though... Mine was never good to begin with, so it like really doesn't help, and it's impossible to heal that. And it is so hard to relate to my friends who are in marriages and monogamous relationships because they think that their boyfriends and their husbands are these amazing men, and I just don't believe it. I have seen men telling me who they were. Wow, that's a sad life to live, that you can live the rest of your life not believing men because of the kind of men that you attract, selling your body for money. What kind of men are you expecting to attract? Good quality men? I just don't understand that. What kind of man is going to be faithful to his wife or faithful or looking for companionship with a woman and they watch you? 
What other kind of men do you expect to come to your channel? I just don't get it. Men that want to come and talk to you and say, hey, how's your day going? No. You're literally showing your body for money. What kind of men are you expecting? It's like everybody wants to have it all. That she wants to be able to show her body and also have the good quality men who would take her out on a date and take her to Paris. Right? But also want to pay for her naked body. Like, what kind of men are you expecting to attract on there? So you're, you're, you're already messing up your own mind saying that you don't believe men can be good, but you are doing actions that would only attract certain kind of men. They really are, and their wives have no idea. And it's also really exhausting because you always need to be on your phone replying to messages because these guys are horny now. They're not horny, you know, 15 minutes later. They can't last fucking 15 minutes, okay? They're horny now. So, like, it's a business lost if you're not replying and on your phone because they'll just find the next person. This job is very taxing. Very taxing for me. And I'm an introvert, so I, like, need a lot of alone time. So it's very difficult. It's also hard to step away because you won't make this type of money at a nine to five. You just won't. But I hope that we both find peace and balance. There's no peace and there's no balance in the sex life. There's no peace and there's no there's no uh, peace and there's no balance in being a sex worker. There is no balance. How do you balance showing your body to everybody but showing it to one person too? You're you're not committed to whoever you're with. You might as well forget about relationships. The rest of your life is literally selling your body. That's what it, what it comes down to, no matter how you want to slice it. But let me say what she said at that last point. You won't make this kind of money at a nine to five. Exactly. You won't. I want to say something, guys. These people who think that you can't make good money at a nine to five are people who don't gather the skills or want to have any experience. These people don't want to spend 20 years at a job and try to build their way up and then use those skills to get out of that job and then go do something with their lives. They don't they they want to have it all by 30. Imagine if you just waited till you were 40 at 20 years old, you get out of college or whatever, you start working as a plumber or something, you get really high up in your plumbership, and then you take that skills and those knowledge that you learn from being a supervisor and doing all this stuff, building projects, working on different types of houses and all that stuff. You take those same skills and then you branch out, make your own little business or start contracting yourself out. Use that money you got, invest it and do whatever with it. Start flipping it. And then you start teaching other people. Now people pay you to teach them. Then you're starting to make real money. But because nobody wants to gain any experience in anything. Some people just want to go sell their bodies, mainly women who want to do that. And then men, they want to be entrepreneurs and sell some kind of course or some kind of, some kind of drop shipping or something like that to be rich really quick. They end up scamming and OnlyFans model ends up doing the same. I understand why people don't want to be patient. And, it's, and I'm not saying it's all on people just inherently want to be impatient because that's been going, going on throughout the generations. We all wanted to get rich quick. But as time has gone on, what we have taught people, I'm including my generation in this, what we taught people is that in your 20s, you got to put your head to the grindstone and get money as fast as possible. But what we didn't teach them is you need to put your head down to the grindstone, yes. But also, excuse me, but also you want to be able to build skills within that. Put your head down and learn we don't tell them that part. We tell them put their head down and get money any way you can. Real estate scams. Not, not real estate itself. It's not a scam. I'm talking about they'll say real estate and then they'll tell you how to do it in a scamming way. They'll tell you YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, live stream. And they'll tell you all these lies of how easy it's going to go. They'll tell you to be an entrepreneur, to teach people how to make money that you've never made. You really have no skills. You dropped out of high school and you're going to teach people how to drop ship and tell them how to make millions and millions of dollars so they can buy a Lambo. Foolish buying. And we just teach them that, you know what? Life comes easy. You just got to put in 10 hour days. I think that is so wild to me. That is the one thing that bothers me, man. When it comes to building wealth and it comes to building money, you're going to be working. You're going to be working hard. You see people who are millionaires, billionaires, and they work throughout the clock you look at the schedule in fact and i know some people don't like steve harvey but let's just skip over that when you look at steve harvey's schedule he's busy all day during the day all the way until dang near he goes to bed all day 12 hours all day 12 hours or maybe well actually i think he's about 16 hours it's somewhere in there but anyway 16 hours that's eight hours of sleep that's pretty much all you get so your whole day is full until you pretty much go to bed 
But people think you just wake up, ah, type a couple of things on your, for 30 minutes and bam, money just flows. People who make money like that normally are tireless workers. All they do is work. Eventually, the money doesn't even matter to them. They keep making money because of how hard they work and how much worth ethic they have. Now, hard work and labor work, obviously different. I'm talking different. Somebody who sits on a computer and does stuff all day and they're moving, going to meetings is different from somebody who's working on a roof. I get that. But at the same time, they're both working hard, just in different ways. So, and the person who works on the roof probably is never going to get to that kind of money unless they, like I said, build the skills, then use those skills to teach others. People will pay them and blah, 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 like I said earlier. Now, let's finish this off with the OnlyFans thing. <sighs> you working in OnlyFans will never get you that far. Not monetarily. You can make a lot of money monetarily. I mean, you're not going to get that far if you want to keep your sanity. If you want to see the world for what it can be. When you get into this sex work life, and everybody thinks they go into the sex work life and they're just going to meet these grand people and life is going to be great. Like they're not going to see trafficking. Like they're not going to see abuse. Like they're not going to see sick men. They're like they're not going to get the creepiest DMs they've ever gotten in their life. I tell you once again, and some people you can believe it or you don't want to believe it. Doesn't matter to me. Sex is meant for you and your spouse. That's it. And marriage, not outside of marriage, not to sell, not to do any of that stuff. Is it going to happen? Of course it is. But you think it's ever going to fulfill that hole that all of us are looking to fill? Just because there's money in it? Money ain't going to fill that hole, buddy. It's not. People, there's people in this world who've had a lot of money and the most miserable people, people ever. This girl, and this is what y'all are seeing. This is the girl that I was talking about in the very beginning. I just saw. Look at all the money she's making. And here she is crying on camera because she can't date. Don't give up your soul for this sex life, guys. You have to have faith that you can build a skill and that quick money is not the greatest money. That slow money, that slow grind can have works because 20 years from now, you're going to have two types of people. The people who got money quick, they were rich in five years, rich in their 20s, doing stuff that's unconventional, stuff like sex work or maybe scamming people, stuff like that, and they'll get that money real quick. And then you have the people who did the slow grind. At 21, they started working for a company, built their way up for the first 10 years. Then about 10 to 15 years, you know, they're working in the executive suite. And then after that, they're working. And the next thing you know, they're like 42 years old. They've had 20 years of experience. They take that experience. They teach others. And now they're making money in so many different ways because they can teach and they have the skills that is always hireable. And now you got two different people. The person who took five years gained no skills and now has no skills for the next 15 years because they either have to go back to school or do something else. But but they made a little bit of money, though. And then you got the person who's going to probably be wealthy because they took the skills that they learned at that one job and used all that experience. And now people want them to teach them. People want to hear them speak. People watch them because of how much experience they have. And now the money is just flowing. You pick your life. Sex work, never the way to go. Goodbye.